This morning, New York Met star Pete Alonzo is thankful to be alive after a violent crash in Florida. To me, it's, this is just really special to, to be here. This is a really special spring training. Uh, because yesterday is a really close experience to death. Alonzo was driving to spring training when he says a car plowed into his truck. My car flipped over probably about three times and guy ran a red light, T-boned me. His wife was following him in her car. She posted this video of the wreckage, including the crushed windshield, saying, I thought I watched my husband die in front of me. One thing, I was coming here to work, coming, coming to spring training, and the next thing I know, I'm uh, kicking my kicking my windshield and trying to get out of a flipped over car. Alonzo wasn't hurt. The other driver is also OK, but did get a ticket for running a red light. Crashes like this are on the rise nationwide. Police reporting a surge in aggressive driving since the pandemic. As a result, vehicle deaths are up 17.5 percent in the last two years, the largest increase since the 40s. You would have thought with fewer people driving during the pandemic, there would be fewer crashes and fewer fatalities. Instead, the opposite happened. The government unveiling a new strategy aimed at using technology to make the roads and vehicles safer. But officials say the worst accidents continue to be caused by risky behavior, speeding, and driving under the influence are the two biggest factors. Meanwhile, for Pete Alonzo, a new perspective on life. Every day is blessed for me. I mean, I'm, I'm just so happy. Every day is a gift. Alonzo's wife is urging people to wear their seatbelts. New data shows 43% of people killed in car crashes who had access to seatbelts were not wearing one. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.